Hello and welcome to study seven of our One Anothering series. Our focus in this study is on being humble and not judging one another. Being humble and not judging one another. Christians have a reputation in the wider world for putting our own interests first and judging others. Well, I know there's a whole lot of things at play in that reputation, a whole lot of misunderstanding. There's a whole lot of other agendas, other worldviews. There's, there's an enormous amount of blind spot and blinkers and ungodly agendas that are at play in that. But I also know that sometimes we have earned that reputation of judging others and not being humble. Sometimes our Christ-like humility, our love for others, has been woefully deficient. Actually, let me just tweak that for a second. Perhaps not just sometimes, perhaps often our Christ-like humility has been woefully deficient. Actually, probably should tweak it even more. Often our Christ-like humility is deficient. It's deficient in how we navigate the world and it's also deficient in how we navigate our church. We've got a lot of thinking to do and growing in this study and what joy there is in listening and seeing the perfect example of Christ that we'll focus on in this study and, and seeing how it's to shape us and how it's to flow through us in, in ways that, that, that are encouragement rather than immobilize and tear people down. The reputation that we might have in our wider world is a reputation that we often have inside our church as well. Let's be people, this, this, the one another commands are primarily focused on, on God's gathering upon, upon the church. Let's be people that instead of being judgmental, where we think the best of people, we, we work to build and to bring the best out of people, and where we model Christ-like humility and foster Christ-like humility in people around us. Let's come together with humility, growing in humility, growing in the path of becoming like Jesus. That's the lifelong journey that God's given us, and we're going to get a great boost in this study uh, that we have before us. God calls us to speak into each other's lives, not, not judge mentally, but with grace and with truth, with, with, a, with a sincerity to build others up. So, so when, when we're called to not be judgmental, it doesn't mean that we're not to speak even hard things into each other's lives. But the way we do it, and the way we do it with a freedom from hypocrisy, and the way we do it with our eyes fixed, upon the Lord Jesus will be radically different. We'll do it with a truthfulness. We'll do it with a love, which is something that we've already looked at and we'll keep on looking at through these studies. We'll do it with a gaze upon the Lord Jesus, unashamedly copying Jesus. The magnificent hymn that Paul either wrote or recorded in Philippians chapter 2 that says, do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value yourselves. Uh, in humility, value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of others. In your relationships with one another, have the same mindset as Christ. And those words is telling us the importance of copying Jesus, and it's showing us the beauty and the magnificence, the goodness of it. So we're going to dig into that passage and many other passages in the next few moments in this study. But for now, can we rejoice in the greatness of the example of Christ and see the importance of copying Jesus? Our lifestyles as Christians ought always to flow out of the motivation of the gospel. A Christ-like humility. Christ humbly served us, came from heaven, incarnation, Christmas time, we celebrate the incarnation, becoming one of us in order to deal with our sin. What magnificent humility. And that's the model for us. Therefore, flowing out of 
gratitude for Christ's humble sacrifice, we're called to show a similar attitude of self-giving, sacrificial service to each other. If we've been encouraged and find joy in having fellowship with Christ, we will show that in a similar way with humility and love and service towards our brothers and sisters in Christ. This, this study, is, this topic, this whole area is super important. We're to be challenged and encouraged. So let's come before God. And let's pray that that happens. Father God, you know that we need to be challenged when it comes to being judgmental. We need to be challenged when it comes to pride as opposed to humility. We need to be encouraged and helped. We can help each other to grow in humility. We can, we can gaze together at you and just be blown away by the magnificence of the perfect humility of Christ and helped and help each other to reflect that in our church, amongst our friends, and of course in our whole wider world too. And I pray these things in your precious name. Amen. May God richly bless you as you engage in the study today. Thank you.